Um, I don't think it was emotion. I think it's been a tough tournament. Um, you know, you, you know, you would like to say that everyone's contributed to this tournament. Um, have we lost a little bit of experience with Layla? Of course we have. I think she would have added value to our team today. I think we probably needed a little bit of a change in that defensive end. However, the game and the situation is what it is. Um, I think the girls give it all. You say I'm proud of them. Of course I'm proud of them. Um, you know, to lose by um, two to a world-class team is not a disappointing result because you know anything can, anything can happen in a tournament and anything can happen in a game. And you know we've got another game. We've got to get pick ourselves up and we've got to go again. I mean, Joe and Nat on there just created a little bit of space and enabled us to pop, and it, it created a bit of movement in the circle with Halsey back in there. Um, however. You know, you, you come out of a quarter and get the game back in your hands and, and obviously lead by three. You come out the next quarter, you expect to be able to um, chug away at that scoreline and, you know, we just didn't have the legs at the end to be able to do it. Um, I think their shooting circle were um, so clinical. I think, what, did they miss one shot all game? I'm, I'm guessing at that. Um, I also think their defence head did a little bit of a job. They've got a lot of presence and I, I don't think we worked hard enough to cut the ball to circle and we were running around a lot. but. It is what it is and we move on. So it would come down to this game and I think we obviously didn't start the way we wanted to and so we were sort of chasing from there but all credit to the girls, we managed to get ourselves in um, in a good contest at half time but unfortunately I think we were just almost woeful in attack all the way through the court today. Um, defensively obviously you look at the score and we managed to um, keep the score fairly low um, but just weren't able to capitalise on those balls that we did get. What did you think? The crowd have been amazing all week and today was no different. We really felt the love out there and just got it. We couldn't get it over the edge in the, in the end. But um, yeah, they will make sure we recover well and come back tomorrow and hopefully they'll be right behind us. Fantastic. And finally, this Netball World Cup, what do you think it's doing for Netball in the country? I mean, you've got out book, which is incredible. So, yeah, what's it doing? Hello. Yeah, I mean, the last 10 days have been absolutely amazing. And even just in Liverpool, but I think almost around the country, everyone's sort of talking about Netball. It's been mentioned everywhere. And I think it's just great for the sport. And long may it continue and for female sport as well. It's a disappointing start from, from our perspective, um, but we did get ourselves back into the game, we gave ourselves a chance and we had opportunities to win that game, um, so that, that, that's the bit that hurts when you get yourself into a position where, where you can win a game and then you don't quite do it, so that, that is the bit that we now need to just kind of get over and, get, and keep ticking over and, and get you know, the debrief out of the way so we can move forward to tomorrow, because you know, there is still a bronze medal up for grabs and we would love to stand on the podium on home soil, that would still be a very proud moment for us. And in terms of this journey that was good.